Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. Our uh, three urbanites are taking the reins tonight. Uh, I think there's going to be a murder. And it might be Caitlin on the uh, rich white ladies. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we <laughs> shall see. Uh, follow oh, us on Twitch. <laughs> follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, it's down there. If you want to shoot the shit in our Discord channel, down there most importantly if you want to see it on the talk show or a one shot this saturday as a matter of fact m hobo inc twitter gmail let us know uh saturday is a fifth level adventure uh and that's all i'm gonna say about that i am not running it though uh thanks pirate dog dice for giving me dice that are gonna kill the campaigners next saturday and don't forget oddfishgames.com oddfishgames.com is gonna have another how to rpg with your cat session december 6th uh that is a sunday 3 p.m eastern standard time it's free you just got to sign up. Uh, check our Twitter page for the sign up information. That being said, let's get on to the introductions. Uh, I always leave her for last. Tonight, I'll make her first. Carrie, our producer, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Uh, I play Camille, a wizard necromancer, and uh, I usually produce this show and comment in the background where nobody can hear me but the cast. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> next up is David. David, uh, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Hi, my name is David, and tonight I'll be playing Zadar. He's a arcane trickster rogue, changeling, you know, whatever he is any given day as far as gender, you know, orientation, everything. So Very uh, good. Do you have something else? No, 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 that's okay. it. What's he gonna Let's look move like? on. What are you going to look like tonight? Oh, tonight. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's go with Tom Selleck. I've been liking Tom Selleck. <laughs> that's good. Hawaiian shirt? Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, Hawaiian jerkin. <laughs> nice. Uh, last but certainly not least, the youngest member of Murder Hobo Inc., uh, Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you and who are you playing? Pretty sure I'm like the least in everything, the shortest, the youngest. It depends on if you Carol's want to count. Pretty short. Carol's pretty short. Yeah, but, she's uh, short. Little Frankie on Sunday is definitely younger than you. <laughs> that works. I'll take it. Um, I'm Caitlin. I am still on my trip, so I'm still in Arizona, right here, apparently, in the middle of the ocean. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> It begins with an A. It's close enough. Yeah, it, it, Zona. Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and I'm playing Daphne as usual, and I am a paladin sea fling. Uh, I noticed you're sitting in the corner. How is Hannah going to try and sneak around behind exactly. you tonight? Exactly. Put yeah. baby in the corner. Uh, oh, nobody she puts baby, put baby in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> All right. Uh, folks, these guys have been uh, at it for quite a while. They are fifth level adventurers. They have seen it all, done it all, yeah. except for leave the friendly confines of cacophony. These guys are total urbanites. Uh, tonight, we pick up where they left off. A trade conference is being hosted in the city of cacophony, and the city is ripe with diplomats and their envoys. Uh, the going was a little bit rough early on, but fortunately, uh, these guys have kept a lid on the boiling pot. Sadly, they have been enlisted to help the local constabulary uh, keep control of the city. Uh, it has been two weeks since their last adventure, and they are finally getting a handle on this whole guard biz. Uh, and they've only been going to a few stupid ass calls, drunks in taverns, lost cats, etc. Now, in the span of two weeks, did you guys want to go to Henny's Herb Shop and pick up Yes, potions? we had to get yeah. some medicinals. <laughs> Just yes. in case. Uh, I will give you that before we start. Uh, he has, lucky you, five regular potions of healing. A single potion of extra healing. What would you guys like to buy? Uh, Camille? Let's I think you should take it. the extra <laughs> healing. <laughs> you guys want to make it a group Yeah, we'll, we'll take it all and split it up. <laughs> 
six potions, five potions of healing, one extra healing. <laughs> uh, during your trials and tribulations, you managed to do that. Uh, you have been a regular at the Flying J. You have made friends. You have made foes. You have made interesting people, uh, your acquaintances throughout. Uh, after two weeks, uh, the conference is starting to wrap up. And in spite of the rocky start, uh, I've already covered that <laughs> bullshit. Uh, last night, you worked the night shift. So you got to sleep in this morning. It is mid-morning by the time you guys rise and you are thirsty. You guys want to head out and get your morning cup of flying java. But as you do, you, you open the door and you see two personages uh, that are quite familiar. Uh, they are talking just a stone's throw away in the middle of the street. Uh, as you open the door, the two begin to part ways, and Uma Thurman heads down towards the docks, and Skippy Lee gives you a nice wave. Oh. The little fucker's out of jail again. <laughs> Is there a rock for the time. For Adam? <laughs> uh, no, you guys, you guys keep your house oh, clean. Uh, the sun is high in the sky, and a cool breeze signals a beautiful day is upon you certainly nothing can go wrong here oh, uh skippy lee even seems to be rather friendly and gives you the old nod as you take your first deep breath of fresh air you hear the sound of a guard whistle coming from the docks other than a weird smell it is followed by two more blasts on the whistle which indicates to you guys that a serious problem is a foot down in the docks would you like to investigate does the flying j have a satellite store not currently uh, maybe, maybe you should a coffee cart just that <laughs> I, I, you know there there's we're gonna have copy. to start putting a gonna have to flying j is gonna have to have a coffee cart somewhere yeah, in, in case you guys uh have a you know adventuring doesn't work out uh you guys let's see let's go ahead and put the stamps up here i'll give you guys the heart today uh you guys are at your adventurer's bungalow mm -hmm. and somewhere right in here is where the whistle is coming from yikes uh, i guess we better go that's the spirit because heroes never say die oh wait that's goonies that never say die hey we had that adventure <laughs> that's right that adventure is over uh your time in helping the guards has given you enough insight to realize that three whistle blasts indicate a huge problem and you speed down the hill to locate the source of the issue and find the docks to be quite slick this morning Everybody, give me a dexterity oh, save or oh. fall on your ass. <laughs> yeah, that geez. was coming. Seven. That's a fail. Uh, for Zadar, it's a 22. That's a pass. 16. And that is a pass. Only Camille slides and falls on her ass, soaking her leather breeches. Uh, as you guys move to help her, you notice there's a good inch or two of standing water here. Uh, everybody give me an investigation check. Oh, wow. I've got to switch that dice right now. That's my bag, man. Uh, 20. Okay. 23. Very good. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, as you help Camille up, you notice that uh, there's a watermark on all these buildings uh, about a foot high. Uh, and the water is pooling all over the dock region. Uh, another blast from the whistle indicates that you are a mere block away. Did we miss something? Did we? S was there a flood? <laughs> I was about to say, did we sleep through a flood? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, very carefully walked to the, <laughs> to the docks. As long as you keep an eye on your footing from here on out, you should be okay. You notice that a crowd is gathered near the alleyway by the Mariner's Guild and Foible's blacksmith shop. 
pushing your way through the crowd because you're heroes, mm-hmm. you notice that the guards stop you uh, beyond them in the alleyway. Gibble and Harris, the gnome investigators. <laughs> Crack it in tubs. Awesome. Nice. Yo, guys, what's going on? They see you and wave you through. The guards step to the side and allow you to pass. Uh, Let's see. Uh, You guys find a dead body lying there. Uh, The individual... Male human. Is it Skippy Lee? Skippy Lee? Lee? It is not Skippy Lee. Skippy Lee halfling. (laughs) Uh, The human has a giant slash right through his midsection going from shoulder to hip. Um, And I I have to be careful here. Did the crocodile get him? That's a, <laughs> yeah, that's a mighty big blade. <laughs> yeah. uh, he is dressed. Everybody give me nature check to see if you guys know what he's dressed as. I was going to say, give me a naked check. Give me a naked check there, tiefling. Why not? Uh, he's five. I'm getting rid of that one, too. Wow. Wow. Fifteen. Yeah, nature's not my thing. Nine. Uh, Daphne, you recognize this guy as somebody who works on the docks. Uh, just from his gear. So, no, he is not a seaman. It's not the he's dock a, master. He's not the dock master, oh, Peter Moran. Thank goodness. Yeah, it's just a standard grubby dock guy. Uh, his hands gnarled from doing manual labor. The poop. poop is he old? Uh, he's middle-aged. Tommy used to work on the docks. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, we'll go with his name being Tommy. And Caitlin has no idea. <laughs> no, a little Bon Jovi for you. Not a clue. Little living on a prayer. Bon Jovi? That's the guy with the white hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm going to have to go as John Bon Jovi one night. <laughs> okay, Crockett and Tubbs of Cathaway are checking it out. And uh, what do you want to do? Um ask them (laughs) yeah hey guys well they point out clearly this guy has been slashed with some kind of saber but says gibble that's not how he died and how do you know what if you examine closely the wound it is long and wide but it is only superficial it does not penetrate the (laughs) vital organs or the ribs Hmm. further if you look at his eye (laughs) he opens up the guy's eye both the dock workers eyes are filled with blood hypoxia was he strangled i believe it might have been psychic damage oh shit that's not good. I've seen this before, and I don't think I'm mistaken. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Any ideas so. on who wants to kill a dock worker? That's just the thing. Uh, robbery is not the intent, because ching, ching, ching. He has a belt pouch full of don't The last thing I remember coming from the docks with a huge-ass blade, yeah, vanished <laughs> the night of long passing. I doubt it was that, though. So, uh, We do have one witness. Okay. His chest oh. just simply opened up. Just, like, chest burster? Just... Yep, he was cutting through the alley. Uh, old Lady Thompson... Uh, was emptying some swill and uh, she she saw his chest just wide open just burst wow combustion so what is it wearing a shirt no he is not wearing a shirt he's only wearing uh breeches that are soaked um yeah I asked the old lady, uh, did he appear to be running from something? Was he in a hurry? The old lady is drinking uh, inside her house. You'll have to go there if you want to discuss it. Oh, okay. I thought she was like in the crowd. I saw everything. Nope. She is uh, petrified, (laughs) according to Gibble and uh, Harris. Okay. I keep wanting to call him Gibble and Thibbet, (laughs) but I know that's not right. (laughs) 
Um, um, so what's up yeah, with all let's... the water? Oh, uh, there's some dumbass rogue wave right before dawn. Wow. Okay. Actually, we... it actually smashed two ships together and soaked most of the dock region. And we slept right through that. Yeah. Oh, you guys would have been blocked by a lot of buildings. We were sure. tired. Uh, yeah. Out in the crowd, you hear uh, a guy who looks like sh a ship captain bitching about no one taking the report for his damaged vessel, and he's getting pissed. Uh, is there a well? Dock isn't the police dock that can come well? That would be the dock master. Where's <laughs> Where's our friend, the dock master? Peter Moran is busy. He oh, cannot okay. take that. Uh, also, this is an act of God, so insurance is not going to cover this problem. Uh, an individual in the crowd yells, I know who did it. It was Skippy Lee. Wow. Really? And who says that? Uh, a witness. I didn't I, describe A witness. <laughs> uh, I will go with a female. Okay. So. Human, female human. I saw Skippy Lee. He walked Are right past here, here, and next thing I know, this guy was dead. Uh, well, did Skippy have anything in his hands? I mean, I know he what he has usually has. Everything in his hands at all times. No, he does. <laughs> I'm sure he ripped that guy off. I'm sure he did. So. Did, um, are you going to do something about this, or are you just going to let this murderer escapade through the city, putting us all at great risk? Well, considering he hasn't been robbed of anything, maybe you should shut the fuck up. Well, aren't you just charismatic as fuck? <laughs> uh, it suddenly dawns upon you that this is a lady of the night, <laughs> and she's none too happy with your attitude. Oh. All right, I'm just trying to be a good citizen, and you guys just shut me down. Everybody just slit your own throat. Skippy Lee's going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Little doom and gloom there, Tits. <laughs> Gibble, Gibble and Harris are just furrowed brows and just, uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, we just made a bad situation worse. <laughs> Well, supposedly the the old lady witness saw his chest split open, so if mm. she really was a witness, she would have seen that too. But I guess she didn't. Are you saying this to the Cortesian? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> look who's so smart. <laughs> well, Mademoiselle, did you happen to see anything like a flash of light or anything? Oh, I've seen lots of flashes of light, honey. If you got I'm 50 sure gold, <laughs> I'll show you a flash of light. Too. Does Skippy owe you for a flash of light? Is that your problem? As a matter of fact, yes. Uh, I wish to file a fraud charge. All right. Well, I'm sure these two detectives would be... Uh, we're busy, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> the two guardsmen that allowed you to enter are just kind of looking around because they don't want to deal with this lady either. Right. Oh. Uh, let's make our way to the old lady, older, older woman's residence where just one house down. Okay. She's a day drinker. Okay. We're oh, not going to, <laughs> should we cop knock? <laughs> it's early though, right? No, we had to bring a bottle of wine over in order to it, get it. It's noon. Yeah. You can, you want to go shopping? There's a murderer afoot, and you want to go buying shit. Sure, let's do that. And we want to inebriate our only witness. So. That's right. Get her, get her juiced up. She'll tell you anything. Yeah, see, exactly. Or we can get, like, a keg of beer. I swear I saw Fumunda D's nuts killing this guy. Oh, uh, no, we know that's not right. <laughs> oh, but you're quick to dismiss that uh, Skippy Lee has uh, said enough is enough and go on a killing spree. Also in the crowd, you notice Uma Thurman. Wow. More of curiosity than anything else. That is somebody I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> she could so, deal some psychic damage. I'm sure. Well, she he can. was walking away from the docks. She was walking towards the docks. Right. And how long ago did this happen with the gentleman again, uh, with his chest bursting open? Medical check. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Time. TOD has not been determined yet. <laughs> gotta, man, gotta figure out where to stick they that really thermometer. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I rolled a 12, so I, I didn't Daphne figure it out it. yet. She checks the butt stuff. Yeah, do, do butt stuff, Daphne. See if there's butt. Sure. <laughs> I'm a certified doctor. Doc, Dr. Daphne is here. <laughs> Medical? Uh, yeah. Okay? Oh, medicine. Yo, mine's not going to be good at all. I got a 5. I tried. I got a 12. <laughs> I'm like looking at the wrong body. <laughs> Camille, <laughs> you're looking at the the Cortesian. She's looking at Gibbles' uh, butt or something. Oh lord. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, a little better. Uh, none of you three know when this guy died. However, uh, Harris will tell you that they were over at the grindstone eating lunch when the call came in. So it's been maybe a half hour. Oh wow. Okay. So this is recent. Um, oh, there's still blood gurgling out. Oh, and it's awesome. mixing with the water. Ooh, uh, if cool you lick patterns. the blood, you can figure it out. Go ahead and lick the blood. Go ahead. Don't, don't forget there's dock water everywhere. Increase <laughs> <laughs> so whatever. You know. And I'm sure that the seamen have been wandering through this. <laughs> because um. of your witness. <laughs> Yeah, she's been working the docks. <laughs> That's right. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, do you want to go no, buy a no, bottle no. of wine, or you just want to talk to her? Yeah, let's just go talk to her before she. We'll go talk to her. I feel like we should like bring her something. You aren't making a house call. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I like old ladies. I'll try to be nice to her. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, are we going to cop knock, or are we just going to polite knock? Well, polite knock. Yeah, like a, a tune to it, you know. Yeah, uh, we'll the doors open, and much like Daphne, she's swirling that wine glass. But unlike Daphne, she is just chugging it back. <laughs> just give her a second. Can I <laughs> help you? Uh, we heard that you were a witness to that uh, gentleman. Lordy, lordy, I did indeed see what happened. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Could you tell us, please? I myself was emptying my chamber pot in yonder hole in the ground, uh, and it, it mixed in with the dock water from uh. earlier this morning, uh, so it's floating down by the body. And... <laughs> That kindly young man without the shirt on smiled at me, and then his chest flew open. You and were he just dropped to the ground. You were just so striking that he couldn't contain himself. He just I was in my night clothes still, and I might have bent over at an inappropriate time. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long ago was this? <sighs> Two glasses ago, so five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> Did you see anybody else around? You didn't happen to see a tall woman in a dark cloak, huh? He was alone in the alley, admiring my womanly attributes, I believe. <laughs> uh, this lady's got a charisma of seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, no. There's not a love connection there, I don't think. Not Chuck Woolery yeah. is disappointed. But he's uh, Tom Selleck. He could probably turn on the charm. I'm gonna well, that's that. why she is cooperating. Oh, I see. <laughs> he has given her the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I open up the jerkin and let that, you know, that chest that's hair, hair, the the wild chest hair <laughs> yeah. go off. Does she like it? Uh, I like uh, my men clean shaven. Like a seal. That's right. Uh, seal dolphin. love. Dolphin, dolphin. smooth. smooth. Uh, <laughs> Abraham, rest yeah, in peace. Right? Uh, so is so, there anybody else around that you saw at all? Just him with his chest flying open. Didn't, I didn't see anything, but I could have sworn I heard a, a weird noise. Like what? I don't know. It was like metal on stone. Maybe his engorged belt buckle hit the cobblestone. Well, did you hear that before or after he fell down? 
was it like metal striking stone or was it like metal dragged along stone? It was before you hit the ground and it sounded like metal bouncing. Hmm. Okay. Wow. He was a good looking young man. Is he still warm by chance? <laughs> well, the blood was still gurgling out of him, so you could... Well, I hope it was just the blood and not the remains of my chamber pot. Mm-hmm. Let's hope not. <laughs> you were just all about your chamber pot. So, uh, is there anything And you guys else? waited through that shit. <laughs> is there anything else Literally. That you could add to the, <laughs> to your comments? <laughs> no, I I surely wish that somebody would have brought me wine. I might have remembered more. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, perhaps we'll stop back by with some. Oh, Lordy, that would make my day. I need to go lay down. The antics of this morning have just taken its toll. Well, thank you for your cooperation, ma'am. Anytime there, woolly bully. <laughs> Uh, Gibble and Harris give you the head nod. Get anything? The sound of metal bouncing on stone. And the contents of her chamber pot ad nauseum. She loves poop. Yeah. Uh, Steel poops. (laughs) Little gifts floating down in the water. There's, There's no murder weapon here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, is there any... Uh, has the water cleared from the street or is it still it's, swirling about? It's still puddling in some well, various spots. It's going to take about a half hour or so. to. Uh, I checked the buildings. Is there anything like, I don't know, like uh, uh, damage to any of the buildings? Maybe something hitting it, striking it? Yeah, the sure. street? D12, D12 against me. Okay. Uh, nine. Eleven. Uh, roll initiative. Uh, oh. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, Twenty. Oh. Uh, Zadar, as you look around, a cat jumps out. <laughs> Let's see if I can hit you with its claws as you scare it. A six. Like, a six. It misses. It, it misses. misses and skirts in between your legs and takes off. Is this Uma wow. Thurman's cat? Nope. It is a tabby. Mm. Oh, it's a tabby. U- Uma's is a black cat, right? Black cat. Okay. Where's our cat? Uh, behind where the cat was at, you find fish bones. Mm. Hmm. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Shall I saddle you with kittens? Uh, one fish, Ooh. two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> I mean, you can't tell it's just fish bones. Okay. Okay. Uh, but looking around there, there is no damage to the street or the buildings. No unusual or what you perceive as recent. So gotcha. maybe we go see if we can talk to Uma while the water recedes. Yeah. Sure. You head back out into the crowd. Mm-hmm. Is she still there? Nope. She's gone. Well, I guess we have to go to her tower then. Hopefully it's been repaired from Carol's face. (laughs) Well, yeah. Yeah, how are we going to do that timeline? No, it's not her character. It's uh, Rania is the other character character. That's petrified. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the, the Dibble Thibbet uses. Yeah, he uses. <laughs> he calls it a hat rack, but that's not what it is. And right. it's canon now, Kyle, so there you go. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? Uh, you know, anyone else named Kyle watching this is like me. Hmm. <laughs> like, we get a lot of people named Kyle watching. Or Carol. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, man! You never know who's watching. That's you true. never know. You never know. Um, I guess uh, Carol, Carol racist group here apparently. She's a tabaxi racist. She's a tabaxi. That's racist. That's confirmed. That's canon. That is law. That is that is Phil mm. Bar law. That Carol, that's Carol been verified. Tabaxi racist. That's been ver- verified. So, where uh, where boars are not attracted to female menstruation, that is not God. canon. 
that is never going to be canon. I don't care how much uh, the others say it. <sighs> but Carol being yeah. a tabaxi racist. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. That's canon. Let's go see Uma. <laughs> yeah, we'll go see Uma. Uh, you guys head back to where you came from because that is the only entrance to the Highlands. Everybody mm -hmm. give me an investigation check. God, I'm going to have to get rid of this one, too. <laughs> 11. I'm really annoyed because my investigation is plus 5, and I just never roll. You oh, suck wow. at it. 23. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fortunately, Zadar notices something unusual as you guys head back up past your bungalow. Zadar, there are three sets of wet footprints coming out of the muck. One is halfling size. Oh, no. <laughs> You saw him coming from this area, so yeah, we did. Should oh. be no surprise. Uh, is it? Uh, are there? Is it heading up towards the tower? His yep. little muddy footprints. Yep. Okay. We follow the trail. Certainly, the wet footprints dissipate after maybe 20, 30 feet uh, as the sun begins to beat down on the street. Uh, and you continue up. You pass the Adventurers Guild on the left. You pass the Jail and Naval Academy on the right. You get up to where it splits off into the hillside proper or down past the government building where the Flying J and Uma Thurman is. And you hear a disturbance in the marketplace. Uh-oh. What kind of disturbance? Loud yelling, screaming, give me back my shit. <laughs> Is it a little voice that's saying, give me back my shit? Sounds like <laughs> a merchant. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we will quickly walk to the scene. <laughs> Try to see. They're dealing with a merchant. Is your old pal, uh, Skeely. Uh, he is nose to finger with this guy because it's a human merchant. Uh, screaming, <laughs> proclaiming his innocence. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Skippy! What have you done now? <laughs> I have not done anything, my friends. Mm -hmm. Not a thing. This individual has claimed that I have stolen a loaf of bread. I demand that I be searched so that you can say I have no bread. Why would he say that you stole it? Because I am a halfling and he is a racist. <laughs> Sir, is that true? <laughs> Halflings are thieves. We all know it. And this guy's been in prison so much. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have a string of teardrops down his face. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he just does like thorns. I don't know. That's right. <laughs> He's got like a thermometer. <laughs> can search him. Zadar can search him if he wants. I'm not touching that ass. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, is that what, what it's going to take to... Am I not innocent, he proclaims, and you pat him down. Give me an investigation check, please. Sir, do you have any sharp objects? Or <laughs> I have a dagger. <laughs> okay, we'll be taking that. Uh <laughs> Can you empty all of your pockets for us before we get started? I most certainly can. He turns his pockets inside out. Coins, gems, strange trinkets, and one thing really catches your eye. It is a talisman, circular. It's about the size of a modern day pocket watch, mm -hmm. but it's got a gemstone right in the middle. As a matter of fact, you know, not that it is important, mind you. Or anything. Find the burial site. Oh, oh okay. Nice. It looks like that. Nice. Okay. Only this particular part right here mm -hmm. swivels left and right. And this is the gemstone. Hmm. Okay. There is no necklace part on this thing. I have to Photoshop oh, okay. that out. But yeah, gotcha. this is a slider. Mm -hmm. That's a gemstone. You do not know what the sigils mean. Okay. I found that at the docks. That's mine. <laughs> um. Where'd, where in particular did you find this, Skippy? Okay, I was going by the blacksmith shop to go ahead and get uh -huh. my dagger sharpened, mm -hmm. and this thing just careens off a wall and lands at my feet. I look left, I look right, lo, the gods have deposited upon me. It's mine. 
And what happened to that person that we found in the alley? Or yeah. by the blacksmith, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what we're talking about? Okay. Nope. So what happened shortly after you found this lovely piece of jewelry? Well, the blacksmith was closed, so I decided to come up to the market and find some uh, food. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, he doesn't seem to have a loaf of bread, sir. So he probably ate it. I went and got you. You can they're, smell they're, they're sneaky bastards. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, commandeer your little talisman here. Whoa. I, I told you how I got it. Look, That's I'm... freebie. The yeah. gods will be angry if you take it. <laughs> is really? there a, is there any writing on it? Yeah. Uh, can I do an arcana check? Sure. See if I can read it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, magic's my thing. 26. Nope. Can't read it. <laughs> it's not a language that I have that I recognize. So, it will become obvious why you cannot read it. But I no, asked you Skippy what his conversation with Uma was this morning. <clears throat> I asked her if she could identify this. And? And? She doesn't know what it says either. Hmm. Wait, the weird, says? There's a weird thing about it, though. Mm -hmm. And do you, roll? Do you, go ahead. Sixteen. And what are you rolling for? To read the the words. Oh, not even close. Yeah, <laughs> nope. like, not even close. <laughs> he goes. Do you know she has a lot of secret pockets in her robe? Really? Yep. How'd you find out, Skippy? May I have the amulet back, real quick? Only if you give it back to me. <laughs> that's fine oh, okay. okay so when i saw uman i said hey wizard lady i was wondering if you might be able to see what this is and she looks at it and she says no and hands it back to me and kind of gives me a shove out of the way because i think she's a bitch but as she goes by i'm holding it and as i look through the stone i can see she has hidden pockets so this stone is really magical, and it, huh. What do you see, Skippy? I'm not sure what I see. Oh, going to catch on fire again. <laughs> is he looking okay. under people's clothes? <laughs> He's looking at the road behind you guys, which is empty. Wait a minute. Uma had a stone of true seeing. So is this... Can I do a quick investigation check? Sure. I don't have identify, but I mean... Just to take another gander at it and see. Sure. Uh, I'm going to try to look through it. Okay. As you look through it, you, not Camille and not Daphne, see this walking down the street. Oh. oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and it looks to be hell bent when it notices that you have the uh, item. Oh, and it's coming shit. running at you. Camille and Daphne are oblivious to what's approaching. Skippy is tugging, saying, Give it back. I'm not done looking at it yet. I think you are, Smacks. And <laughs> it's just like everybody roll initiative. <laughs> uh, Camille and Daphne, you roll at disadvantage because you don't know what's coming. Okay, twenty-three. Motherfucker! I... I rolled a twenty first and a one on the second one. Wow. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen, one, and what'd you get? Twenty-three. Nine. Oh no, I got nine. Sorry. Oh nine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zadar, this 23. thing, this yeah. thing is hell bent, uh, and it's raising its saber at you. Okay, I uh, hold talisman up to him. I reach for my saber, <laughs> my scimitar in the back. Okay. And it's just like, if you want this, we need to talk. Show yourself. Oh, uh, he got an at 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, as you hold it up, 
you lose sight of him. Oh, shit. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> He's a uh, bad guy. <laughs> that's right. He's a bad guy. That's what it is. Uh, so you don't see what he does. Uh, mm -hmm. Roll off with me on your decks. Okay. Uh, just a dex check or a save? Uh, just, you're rolling off against me, so it's a check. Oh, okay. 12 uh, plus 2 is 14. Uh, 12 plus 4 is 16. Your hand is smacked to one side, but you do not lose grip on the amulet. But then you feel a whole lot of pain. Uh, 17 plus 4, 21. Yeah, 21 hits. <laughs> a blade cuts across you. Ooh, for 10 hit points. Yikes. And you get a headache for six more. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Camille, Daphne, uh, you notice a nice gash cut right through his chest hair. Uh, we'll start with you, Zadar. Okay. Uh, I am going to return the favor with the scimitar. Are you? Or uh, if I'm yeah. still holding the am amulet. Oh, <laughs> oh that's going to take an action, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going to be fighting a disadvantage, just like the ladies. Oh, blind fighting. Here we go. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Uh, I tell you what. I tell a little joke. 18 plus what am I saving on? Oh, God damn it. He's a gift. God, what am I going to learn? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> DC is a 15. Oh, yeah. yeah. He ain't laughing. Uh, uh, Daphne Camille. He just, his chest just burst open, but he's not dead yet. But his eyes are clouding up with red. Daphne, yeah. you're up. Is this contagious? <clears throat> is this yes. COVID? <laughs> Is he considered um, aberration celestial elemental fey fiend undead? I don't understand. Oh yeah, he'll be one of those. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the gith gave him Sith. <laughs> do you, do you, him do you protection from evil and good? You what? Catch Zar and give him protection from evil and good. Okay. Okay. So if you attack him, it's at disadvantage. Sure. Is that okay. your action? That's my action, I guess, yeah. Uh, Camille, uh, Daphne's giving handies and Zadar's bleeding, so you're not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I speak deep speech. Good. It's not uh, your turn. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so... How, how many actions would you like this round, Zadar? Ten! <laughs> you're done. <laughs> okay, so explain to me what this thing is. You have no idea what it no, is. No, no, I mean out of game. Like, what? It is a creature from the astral plane. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's either what's called a Gith Zirai or a Gith Yonki. I'm guessing Gith Yonki, right? They're correct. the evil ones. Yeah. So I can't see anything other than Daphne's laying hands on and Zadar's like bursting into. Oh, I think you need some help. Yep. Wait, did you give me healing, or you just protected me from... I'm protect just protection. Okay. For now. Okay. Okay, since I don't know what the fuck's going on, and I'm concerned, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself. Wise choice. Wise choice. N new round! It really doesn't like you, Zadar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got you. 18? Uh, 18 does You're rolling at disadvantage? Mm. Oh, that is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's not going to be... Uh, that's going to be 11. That so that's going to be a miss. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> the handy has done its job. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do, Zadar? Uh, You're up. Uh, by the way, Daphne and Camille still don't know what the fuck is yeah, going on. Skippy is out of here. Skippy's gone. Of course he is. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm still blind fighting even if I'm holding the amulet, right? Sure are. What I'm... if I put the a amulet on? Oh, but... it's too big. What you about can't your... wear it as I a... thought. I thought it was, like, about that big. It's the size of a pocket okay. watch. So I can't put it on. Oh, it's not on a chain. Oh, it's damn not on it. A chain. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, can your bird do anything? Yeah, and so, boom, summon him. <laughs> uh, as a tressum, it sees hidden. Sure. Oh, I can see it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It had real feathers, they would be everywhere. Okay, unfortunately, my action opening uh, oh man. So, uh, okay. uh, bonus action, can I... I can't sneak attack. Without you have a no idea where it is. No. Okay. All right, I... Daphne, you're up. I'm done. Um, what else do I want to do? Ooh. Run fast, Maybe. run far. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know. I'll cast. Why are you sure? Are we really gonna walk away from this thing? <laughs> I mean, I can't. I need to fight. <laughs> um, I cast bless on all of us because I just don't know what's happening. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buff us up. <laughs> if if only the guy who knew what the fuck was going on used his words. That's yeah, the problem. that's the problem. There, yeah. Girls. Okay, you're all blessed. Uh, that's what, a D6 for you at this level? Everyone gets a D4 member on their attack or saving uh, throw. Is it only a D4 at your level? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Camille, you're up. Still have no idea what's going on. Well, you know what? Obviously, he... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, since I don't know what's going on, obviously something's attacking him and I want to shut it down. So I'm just going to cast a web over the whole mess. And me included, huh? Yes. Very, very nice. Uh, Daphne, D12 against me, please. Me? Oh, yep. No, we all know I have the worst one. Got a 12. That beats me. Uh, you are not caught up into the web. Uh, Zadar and your assailant will need to do strength rolls. Okay. Oh! Nat 20 number two, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, you? God damn. Wait, would you get... No, you wouldn't get disadvantage because it's not Zadar attacking. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Do I get advantage with Blessed? No, nope, um, you get to add four. Yeah, D4. Okay, okay 16. Uh... You know what? I'm going to say that you also have eluded the webs. However, you have strands of webs all over you. Ladies, there's Thanks. something in front of Zidar covered in silly string. Mm. And it, with a five, is going after Daphne. 11 plus four is only a 15. Doesn't hit. Uh, you feel the cold breeze of a blade going past you as these Halloween-like strands are covering the body but have not uh, trapped the thing. So now you won't be rolling at disadvantage. You will be rolling at minus two to your rolls. Zadar, you're up. Words. Uh <laughs> Yeah, words. Bad guy covered in silly string. Uh, Remember, I, boys and girls, always use your words. <laughs> as a bonus action, I look for a bag of flour. Is there one near? Because we're at the bread merchant. And or something. Like laying around. Or dirt. dirt. Is there, yeah, dirt. Co cobblestones. Ah. Uh, a bag of flour. Rock. <laughs> There are no fat ladies here. Uh, you you can disengage. Yes. Opportunity attack. I, I I will risk it. I will I will try to disengage. I am at disadvantage against you. 
Uh, six and a 13, so 10's not going to get you. Uh, yeah. You reach over and grab a bag of supplies, much to the chagrin of the merchant who called you over here to help him. Daphne, uh, the strands are swinging off his arms. Surely he must be through. horrified, though, that shit's just going down around him. He's... Uh, hair chest there's just bursting out probably a shaving accident daphne you're up <laughs> uh zadar bailed on you by the way yeah it's like literally what it probably looks like uh oh, fucker <laughs> <laughs> would this creature bear magic oh yes i do there's a lot magic. of magic you do what detect magic sure uh, now, along with the strands, Daphne can see a blue glow, uh, and it looks like a blade. Mm. Now, Camille and Zadar do not see this. Uh, Camille, if you come near me, you can help fight this blade in my face. Uh, there's your action. Camille, you're up. Uh, so... Can I feel like it's like right here and like pointing at it or something? Um, <laughs> um, I'm not crazy. I promise it exists. Did you see the zits on Zadar's chest just pop open and start bleeding? Oh, yeah. that's so gross. Come on. No, that is gross. Tom that Selleck would not have zits. Uh, Maybe they're ingrown hairs. You don't know. He no. doesn't shave that shit. So. Uh, well, criminy. I got nothing good. You can do shocking grass, but yeah, minus two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <coughs> now we'll try a different. Um, At this point, I think all your dice are equally they shitty. They are shitty. Nine. Swing and a miss as electricity fizzles through the air. Uh, it's just going to be Camille and Daphne. Uh, this one's going after Camille. Nine plus four, 13. That miss. Okay. okay. Zadar, you're up. Okay. You now have a bag of flour. Okay. <laughs> Taking my knife, I rip the bag of flour. Uh, scatter flower in the Githyanki's uh, direction. Excellent. Daphne and Camille will be making saving throws or they will be blinded by flower. Just the uh, top right. one. Right. Yep. So Daphne, give me a uh, dexterity check and I'll roll for Camille. Because those webs don't last long, right? Nope. One minute. Uh, Camille got a three. She's blinded with flower. Oh, blinded by the flower. <laughs> Half blind. What was, what was yours, Daphne? Ten. Uh, yeah, you're blind too. Uh, both Camille and Daphne are now covered in white flower, uh, and they cannot see a third subject covered in white flower, a.k.a. the gif. Uh, Zadar, you plainly see them. Uh, Daphne, it is your turn. You can blind fight, or you can take the round and wipe the flower out of your eyes. Um. By the way, whistles fill the air as the guards on the wall see this unholy menace. <clears throat> can I do my channel divinity blind, essentially? Because it's not like I have to see it. Sure. Okay, so I cast that, and you just have to make a wisdom saving throw? Plus one. Fourteen? Damn it, you make it. It'll have to be uh, thirteen. Okay. Yes, it doesn't work. Camille, wipe your eyes out or blind fight? I'll wipe my eyes out. Top of the order. Uh, odd I blind fight, even I wipe my eyes. 19, I'm going to swing at disadvantage. Uh, 
against even, that will be Daphne. Whew, an eight and a six. I'm guessing a 12 does not hit Daphne. No, no. thankfully. Zadar, you're up. Okay, I am going to uh, take a, a scimitar attack against him, activating green flame blade. Sure. Okay. Uh, oh, shit, he's armored. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Okay, that is... Uh, Eight points uh, slashing damage with, uh, let's see, 1d8 for the flame. Uh, that's uh, five points for the flame. 13 points total. Zadar, you notice, uh, actually Camille will also notice, and Daphne's still blind. Uh, you two notice that little electrical arcs ricochet off an arm region and the gith becomes visible uh it's his, the ter is the his, predator <laughs> his face is covered in white powder and he cannot see daphne last time you channeled divinity what would you like to do this time <coughs> kick his ass sorry i'm talking about wine <laughs> <laughs> going on I'm i yelling. will serve no wine before it's time i was like <laughs> we finished off one i was like oh you should put either the rosé or the white in the fridge pick which one uh you, you have a choice to make on cleaning out your eye or doing something blind Clean out my eyes. there you go uh, foof, 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 foof. now uh that's a one Two, Camille, you get shot in the ass. Oh, the, the guards are shooting crossbows. God damn it, guys! <laughs> One hit point of damage as you take a crossbow bolt in the butt cheek. Yes, I rolled a nine, a seven, a one, and a fifteen. And actually, the fifteen will get him <laughs> with four. <laughs> So you got one marksman up there. Camille, shot in the ass, and you're to blame. You're up. What would you like yeah! to do? You now see this creature covered in white flower and completely visible. Okay, I try shocking grasp again. Uh, you existed, I told you. <clears throat> and again, this is the badass you're fighting. But he doesn't look like that. He's just like an outline, like a ghost. No, he's visible. No, now. we can see him. We 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 fucked up whatever was cloaking uh, him. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen gets him. Yes. And let's see. He has armor. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, one d eight. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Six. Nicely done. Ah, uh, that is the end of this round. He's just not attractive at all. Is he going to fight or wipe? Fight on. He's going after one. Camille, he really does not like you. But he's still at disadvantage. A one and a two. Uh, swinging wildly, thinking that you are the human. Uh, he <laughs> falls to the ground in front of you. You will attack at advantage next round. Zadar, it's up to you. Uh, I've got advantage because he's prone, right? No, you do not. It's uh, just uh, when they fuck up that bad, it's the person who they fucked up against. Uh, okay. Uh phew. Damn it. Okay. Am I going to be at disadvantage attacking him? No, he's visible now. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack with the scimitar again. Yep. And you still have the bless if you need it. Yep. That lasts for one minute. Okay. 27 to hit. Right, pretty much. And then right. your um, field of faith lasts 10 minutes. Right? Okay. 
Uh, seven points uh, slashing damage, followed by uh, eight points of fire damage, and can I bonus action sneak attack? Uh, yes, because he's still blind. Uh, the people in the marketplace are running for their lives at this horrific sight. Seven more points of uh, damage. Nicely done. Uh, Daphne, still, or <clears throat> last time you wiped your eyes clean. Now you see this horrific visage. What do you want to do? Oh, my God. It brings me back home where I grew up. Wow. <laughs> The memories of Jersey. Come on, <laughs> this is not Snooky. <laughs> I was about to say, even though it looks a lot like her. <laughs> but I go to attack with my scimitar, and twenty-four and twenty. Do they hit? Both hit. <clears throat> and it is collectively da, fifteen damage. Ouch. Uh, Camille. So where is everybody? Around? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so where is everybody around me? He is kind of at a weird angle, so you will be able to attack him at advantage. Mm -hmm. Zadar and Daphne are to your right. So if I did pulse wave. Oh yeah, he'd be dead on. Okay, let's do that. Is that a cone or is it yes, a, a radius? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daphne and Zadar roll a d20 straight up. A one, two, or a three means you were a little close. Okay. Eleven. Daphne? Sorry, what am I rolling? A, a straight up d20. All right. <laughs> Reply to my Snapchat, not paying attention. Thirteen. I'm going to kill you if you keep doing that. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> uh, Camille, do I need to make a save, or is it an auto hit? Um, each creature in that cone must make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. No. So you take 10. 6d6 force damage. Oh, I'm going to fucking die. Yeah, you don't even have to roll that. I assume. Well, go ahead and roll. As long as you don't get all ones, I'm going to be dead. Oh, go ahead. Just to roll 66. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. There's four of that. Oh, five. Pulse wave. I'm going to have to look that one up. Oh, shit. I dropped one. Okay. So 11, 12, yeah, he's 13, dead. 14. Okay. <laughs> uh, his sword clatters to the ground uh, as his innards have exploded. His innards if are his exerds. A, a few more sparkles from his armband uh, indicate that. Imagining if it's, it's the innards, you know how you have like a bunch of little pores. It would be like. Yes, he looks like a COVID virus now. It uh. just <laughs> popped out. Uh, the guards from above, who shot you in the ass, come running down. Uh, and and they're holding him at bay. <laughs> Thanks for the assistance, guys. Well, to be fair, they were up and far away, so, you know, at least yeah. they were helping. Yeah. Skippy Lee returns. Whew. So, can I have my thing back? No. no. Gods are not going to smile on you people. <laughs> do I get it back later? Maybe. We'll talk, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> uh, what do you guys want to do? There's a dead gith in the middle of the street. Uh, people are starting to circle around you. Okay, I don't know what that means, so you guys are going to have to, like... Uh, with sir, I'm going to search Space the Space alien. I'm going to search the get, see. Uh, the blade, uh, similar to the size that Daphne would use, is uh, a few feet away from the body. Uh, his armor is covered in gemstones, maybe yeah. 200 nice. gold, I think. And they are not any kind of gemstones that you've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, um, loot that shit. Uh, the armor is it leather or is it plate or? Uh, it's a mixture of both. Wow! But of so... course, it's all blasted now, so. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
I don't know what to do with this guy. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> you hear, you hear, out of the way, out of the way, move now. Uh, you recognize this voice is Hortense. Mm. Oh, uh, she pushes her way through. What's up, whore? Uh, see, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a big laughs> <thing. laughs> see, <laughs> sees sees the body and gasps loudly. How did this creature get here? <clears throat> uh, can you tell us a little bit about this? These are uh, astral raiders. This is what is called a Gethanki warrior. A Gethanki. Well, uh, these things are dangerous. Who killed it? How uh, how could you imagine something like this would get here? Yeah, this little shorty killed it. Don't mess with shorties. <laughs> Uh, Before I had coffee. <laughs> well, they would. Uh, I suppose the easiest way would be on a spelljammer ship, but I can't imagine why they would be here. The hell is uh, that? Uh, essentially, a spaceship. If, if I do an Arcana check, do I know what a spelljammer is? <laughs> you would have to do an Arcana check, and it would have to be very high. Okay, because I mean, I, I'm a changeling. I'm not from this world, so. Right. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. That's what he says to everyone in bed. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> uh, My uh, other form is way better. Yeah, I can be whatever you want, baby. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Not with a 12. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hortense will go ahead and explain what a spell jammer ship is. Being a drow, she is well versed in the arcane arts. Uh, right. She is even paler than she normally is. This thing clearly scares the shit out of her i speak in deep speech to her and it's just like i uh, i ask her is is there a rift somewhere nearby no i've never actually seen one of these things before mm -hmm. um uh, i am going to take it back to the guild and examine it i will help you <laughs> You guys all gonna proudly carry it? Oh yeah! Oh. Yeah. Uh, Daphne, uh, do you want I the sword? I think, I think Hortense and yeah, I could can, can manage. I also like. Can we like fillet him and make him into jerky? Because that's like what we did back home. She does not want to do that just quite yet. She wants to examine it. I mean, you know, let's examine it first, and then we can dry him. Can I, mm -hmm. What's his weapon? It's a plus two. What do you use? Is it a single-handed or a double or two-handed scimitar? It can be either. <laughs> it's a, it's definitely a scimitar, though, right? Mm -hmm. We don't okay. know what type yet. I mean, I'll take it, and can we get it investigated, checked, or something? Yes, until then, it's a plus two weapon that does 2d6 plus your strength modifier. Oh, God, that's and hurts, it is It is from a metal that you do not know what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, wait, plus... Uh, What's the weight of it like? Light? No. Oh, okay. It's medium, uh, just because of the curve on it. Okay. Yeah, Daphne can swing that. Uh, I need light finesse weapons anyway. So, yep. uh, you guys help her carry it back, and she asks, "How did you find this thing?" And um, before I speak, I hold before you for speak. Uh, Skippy Lee goes, they stole my amulet, and I want it back. <laughs> Smack him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody's finally, like, getting the uh, program. <laughs> didn't hit him hard, just enough to give him, you know, like a, a parent, you know, chastising their child. <laughs> back of the head. Can this lady, like, uh, cast some, like, mute speech or something on him? Um... He can fireball his ass into the next county. I'm going to look through it and see if I see anything. Am I? She has a lot of secret pouches on her as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind I'm of not seeing pouches? anything in the, in the distance. Anything that, look, that I would not recognize that could possibly be a spell jammer. With the 19, she looks at you and goes, what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Give. <laughs> Do you speak Geeth Yankee? <laughs> Give. Seriously? <sighs> Fine. All right, Skippy. Skippy. You gotta Skippy. deal with her now. 
Huh. Is the writing in Geth? Writing is in Geth, but I do not. I'm not proficient in it. This is actually a piece of machinery. Holy crap. It fits onto something, but I don't. And she keeps playing with the slider, but I do not know what it does. Is it a staff? Does she hand it back? She hands it back to you. No, it is not a staff head. I hold on to that very, very carefully. (laughs) Skippy Lee goes. No. I say, I tell you what, buddy, 10 gold. Uh, no. It sees scary creatures. 10 gold How about back. you take care of your debt at the brothel? That was we... a freebie. That, Are you... that, I that isn't what we were told. I, You know what? She owes me money because I told her that the waves of pleasure would wash over her and lo and behold, the gods smiled on me. So that's you where you were this morning. Padre. You were her customer, huh? Perhaps. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, okay. But then the the water flew onto the dock and water dock. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Hortense, I'm going to help you get this back to the guild hall so you can investigate it. You're right there. Okay. We get it inside. Or whatever, let her do her 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 thing, and it's just like guys, we need to get down to the docks. Okay. Uh, these things never travel alone. You need to look around the city and figure out where it is. I am. I am looking. There are <laughs> more. Yeah, at, at least one. Oh God. They travel so- in packs. So we're, uh, I'm looking while we're working our way down to the docks. Okay. And uh, I'm drinking a potion at the same time. That's fair. Uh, what would the potion be? It would, it, the regular one is what? Uh, 1d8 plus 2. Okay. Did you have Eight. any extra healing before? I think we should take a short rest no. at the coffee shop. You can, but that's the other direction. Oh, shit. All right, is there anything near us that's, like, beverage food related? The grindstone. What's that? Grindstone Charlie's. It's uh, it's the tavern that you guys go with. Uh, you guys have been there a couple times. It's where you caught the pirate guy. And they let <laughs> us back in. <laughs> yeah, can we do Yeah, uh, you know, you guys are heroes now. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I think we should do at least a short rest. Sure. All right. Yeah, you guys, you guys can nosh. Okay, we'll do that then. I, I think I'm using that properly. I'm not Jewish. No, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What are their names? Rye. Mm. Uh, looking it up now. Whew, that's small. Uh, Rye, Wonder Bread, and Loaf are at the grindstone. And as a matter of fact, that will take you down onto the docks. Okay. So you guys go in there, you... Skippy Lee is going to stay and watch her carve up the other guy. Uh, yeah, I figured that. <laughs> so you guys are down here at the Grindstone, mm-hmm. which is in close proximity to Gibble and Harris, mm. who have finished their uh, investigation. And they are also at the Grindstone, mulling it over with some ale. Oh, so we can tell them everything we know. Yes. Mm-hmm. They are impressed. They should mm. be. Um, okay. I'm nervously eating. <laughs> sure. I'm still, I, every once in a while, I just, I, I look through, I look through the, um, the medallion. Sure. You don't see anything. Okay. Is That's there good. coffee here? 
There is. It's not very good. Well, you know what? Yes. Uh, roll a d20 with your con bonus. Uh, see if you like it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 16. Yeah, it's good coffee. Okay. That, it's not flying J coffee, but uh, it's good That makes coffee. me feel better. You guys can take a short rest, so if you need to recoup anything, you can. That works. Mm -hmm. Yep, that works. <laughs> so, what's what's next on this investigation? We need to go down to the docks. Like, You're there. Out, outside and check, and check the horizon, I think. Okay. Is PETA around? Uh, Peter will be in the middle of the dock. Okay. So let's go talk to him. Yeah. Oh, hi, Weezer. Uh, normally you would have to wait in line, but since you guys are high-class superheroes, uh, he waves you in. Yes? Uh, Peter, did you see where that rogue wave came in from? I mean, north, the water. south? Water. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't be an asshole. Anywhere, I, I, I'm sorry. Where, where else? You know, you got two choices. The entire shore, the entire shore, or just the entire shore. It damaged three ships. Okay. And flooded most of the dock area. Smells like whores down here. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Right. I, hold, I hold. I hold. I smell like. I hold up the medallion and look out onto the bay and the shore. The Do I see anything? Bay. Waves. Just waves. Okay, I look up. Do I see anything? Nope. The sun, and it burns through your retina, and you die. It's just like, uh, yeah, like looking at an eclipse, like if I was the president or exactly. something. So, Unfortunately, he didn't die. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. Oh. Secret service, so. stand down. <sighs> oh, so you guys are on, on the Twitch. dock. You guys, you guys are on the dock. Uh, you're with PETA. Mm -hmm. He is clearly no help. Uh, okay. The same captain is still bitching about <sighs> nobody taking his report. Oh, gosh. Let's go talk uh, to him. Yeah, we'll talk to him. We'll see. Well, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, what do you want to ask him? We'll take his report. <laughs> uh, his ship, the Pegasus, was there right next to some damaged dock that he heard some yahoos destroyed uh and this wave comes in and it actually knocked him uh one slip over into another ship and by god uh that's not his fault and he doesn't feel that he should have to pay for the damage done to the other ship uh the pegasus the pegasus what did it run into i know it's another ship which ship the ship next to it what's it's name. sea lion sea lion okay and that that slip that was one over from him uh i'm gonna turn the damaged and, one yeah the damage not not the one that we damaged the one that knocked him he said he got pushed from one to the other or something like that mm -hmm. so is the sea lion complaining about damages and uh, i'll i look at where that, the captain is i uh, i i look in that direction and see where the Pegasus would have moved from. Sure. Water. Okay. Water. God damn. Okay. Hmm. And none of this is adding up. So, but. Okay. Uh, and I scan around. There, there are no other Githyanki walking around. Not yet. Okay. Um. Hmm. Daphne, I'm at suggestions. Daphne. Besides snap, besides Snapchat. Stop Snapchatting. Any He's worse than a teenager. I Twitter the sun. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. All right. I know. I'm the worst. Um. I feel like whatever I need to do, I need to like really seduce someone. Hannah's oh. ass over there, so you know what? <laughs> well, if Hannah's not Snapchat and she's taking your place. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. I'm trying to get her into this. She's like, I think we know enough now. So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> oh, you think so, do you? <laughs> you think, huh? uh, we're going to, um, why don't we, 
meet up with Hortense and see what she has to say. No, she doesn't even like us. Yeah, but I mean, she's obviously more qualified than she's any a of stock. us. That's what she is. Yeah. So, I. We're still at the the restaurant. We're on the dock. We're on the dock. Why can't we go somewhere to buy wine? I just casually need a bottle of wine to be like, oh, here, we brought you this to talk wow. to someone. She would probably uh, pre- hit, hit. You're on the you're on the docks. They drink mead down here. <clears throat> Put hair on the chest. I mean, you could like probably czar. yeah, lots of. But mead's the worst. Uh, <laughs> so where's the captain of the sea lion? Don't know. Probably a brothel. It wasn't the guy that died. No. Would you like to ask about the yes, guy that died? We'll ask yes. about the guy that died. I don't know. You'd have to ask Pete about that guy. I don't know who that fucker is. Okay, we asked Peter. <laughs> what do you want uh, to know? The dock worker that died. Tom. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> Tommy used to work on the dock. Tom da- Sawyer. Sorry. <laughs> Tom, uh, Tom scraped barnacles off the bottoms of oh, ships. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. He worked last night. Any reason he'd be at the blacksmith? Nah, I don't know his personal business. I wonder if he was trying to get something identified. That's why we had the the medallion. I don't know. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws, guys. <laughs> Camille, Daphne? I take it the metal of the medallion is nothing we've ever seen before, right? So, you would be nothing. correct. The gem is an un, a foreign gem, and the little slider mm-hmm. bar is also foreign material. Okay, what if I move the slider bar? Okay, you move the slider bar. Give me an investigation check, everybody. Eleven. Six. Uh, 19. Hmm. Something look different? Something looks different. You can't put your finger on it, though. The water is getting rough. Okay, I, I raise the, the thing up and look towards the water. Do I see anything? Nope. The sun reflecting off the top of the water. But the water's getting rough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it rising? Like The uh, frequency of the waves has increased for some reason. Okay. I, I moved the slider back down. Does it The stop? water returns to normal. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's um, let's get this back to Hortense and see if she can discern anything about it. Daphne. Why? Get- <laughs> How about we? Is there is there a place to buy wine on the way there? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. So we'll go. <laughs> okay. Five gold pieces, Daphne. That's not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll pay the five gold pieces. Okay, there you go. And if you run into any wallpaper, you can use the wine to remove it. Because it's a six. Uh, you get back to the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, mm-hmm. Hortense is standing next to Skippy Lee, who is holding some kind of internal organ in his hand. <laughs> Oh god. It's sticky. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I asked Hortense, uh has she discovered anything or Yeah, these things stink to high heaven. Besides that, do you know anything else about them? Were you mean you in the to... last ten minutes? No. Oh, it's only been ten minutes? Come on. You wanted a short rest. Oh, okay. I was thinking half hour. All right. I'll give you I'll give you a half hour. Okay. 
uh, but still same answer. <laughs> Quincy has no answer for you. Okay. So I tell her, I tell her about the medallion and what it did that it, the, the waves started getting rough. And then when I slid the slider bar, they stopped. Did you look underwater? Mm. No, but I checked the horizon. <laughs> Hopefully that's not Skippy because I'm gonna put his head right in the right in the innards of a githyanki. See, odd, odd, her even Skippy, her. Oh no, she's fine. <laughs> so I'm just like maybe you check under the waves, Columbus. Well, I don't know about these things. You're the expert here. So. You're a hero. <laughs> I look at her. Here, we're all heroes. You included. Uh-huh. Are you done wasting my time? I'm in the middle of something. Yes, we are. So we go ahead. Skippy and... Lee! <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm irritated. I whack him with my staff. He's going to throw some kind of kidney stone at you guys. I don't care. <laughs> See if you hit him. Oh, yeah. 17. In the groin again, I assume? No, not necessarily. Okay, you crack him upside the head. Uh, stop, stop hitting him, because if he drops it, I'll be pissed. <laughs> All right. So we go ahead, head on, head on out. And it's just like, damn it. Uh, it's sometimes the most obvious answer, you know, just... I, I thought the light reflecting on the tops of the waves would be the. I just uh, assumed bell it ringer. was. I just assumed it was the sun, but no. Okay, uh, yeah, because I should have asked uh, from above or below. <laughs> it's a ship. Yeah, but she said check under the waves. So, right. okay. Right. All right. So we'll head on down to the do uh, the docks again again and i'll look out into the water and i'll look down into the water with uh, the medallion does it reveal anything nope light reflects off the tops of the waves oh jesus okay i am not figuring this out <laughs> <laughs> anybody um, want to help him yeah anybody want to go for the assist Come on, Camille, your intelligence has to be high, too. <laughs> Not really. Oh, gosh. Everybody roll intelligence checks. Okay. I'll give you the out. Oh, wow. 17? I mean, Uma didn't Christ. even know what this shit 11. was. Okay. Uh, intelligence? Mm-hmm. Anytime. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Dice. Okay. Uh, Daphne will know. Yeah, not with a 12. Uh, Daphne reminds you that she said check under yeah. the waves. <laughs> That's stupid. Just put your head in the water. What are you afraid of? After you, madame. <laughs> Fuck, I'll do it. Whatever. She doesn't have the stopwatch. Oh. Uh. Uh, Daphne, uh, eh, you know, it's shitty water down there, but you don't see anything on the ground unless you make an investigation yeah, check. Yeah, let's do an investigation check. Okay. Oh, God. No, just kidding. 12. Why? Why? So it's a 7, bro. 12. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 12, you find uh, a broken metal uh, box. You know. No. Well... You gotta dive in and get it. Doing I'm an a assist. <laughs> uh, Daphne, once you get down there, you notice that there is a debris field so much going out into the bay. What kind of debris? Are you talking about army debris? Metal that you. You know what would have been like body debris. Metal that you do not recognize. All right, so I tell them, you guys, I want to get this thing, and there's just. <laughs> Daphne rises out of the water, does the hair flip, <laughs> and says, That's right. <laughs> with, with her teeth <laughs> flipping back. Like, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. 
Well, I'm going to Tom Selleck run it with my see uh, uh, whatever, you know, kayak thing and go out up there just like he does in the commercial. Oh, my God. I'm short and fat. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so there isn't any of that around there. So I, I guess we're all Puts going in. a tree, carves it, makes a yeah, kayak. Take an hour to do, do that like we did in another Please adventure. Like no, I'm going to go in the drink with Daphne. So so much camille there's so much shiny stuff guys i'm short and unsexy i'm just standing here on the beach like what the fuck sexy and she knows right. it no. so <laughs> those two go in uh there's a clear debris field that would have been underneath the pegasus mm -hmm. before it got shifted and it goes out into the bay okay uh i how deep's the water here i mean 20 20 okay uh yeah, I, I guess we're going for a swim in the direction of the debris. Uh, Camille, D12 against me. I'm looking through the monocle at the same time. Eight. Uh, that beats my four. Hey, there's a rowboat you can borrow. God damn it. All right. Okay. Uh, looking through the monocle, you don't see anything. Okay. Even... Uh, Following the direction of the debris? Sure. Okay. Nothing. So not not a thing. Okay. So we're going. <laughs> Refield ends. Okay. Uh debris field ends. Um look through your, your glass. I am. Right. I'm looking. He has been. Yeah. And still don't see anything. Nope, not a fucking thing. I flick the uh, uh, I flick I flick the lever. Light appears on the floor of the bay in the shape of a rectangle as a door opens up. I say we're going in. <laughs> Suddenly a small vessel appears. Holy crap. Is there water or is it like air now? There's water, but with the way the gangplank comes down, you go in and there'll be an air pocket. Okay, that works. I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you going to let uh, Camille go or no, or are you guys just going to two for Did she it? ever come in the water with us? We are no, just disappearing. She, she's above. I'm in the rowboat. Okay. Uh, it's swim up and... I'm gonna be an asshole. Tell her to come on down. <laughs> come nope, on in. I'm gonna push the boat over. I'm we we rock the boat. We we both rock the boat. <laughs> I gotta let the dog out. Uh, I will deck save her. She's in the drink. She's in the shit now, mustache. <laughs> uh, you guys. Yeah, okay. we summon. Uh, so yeah, it looks like uh, ET's spaceship. Uh, with light coming out of it once you move the slider. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we're going in. You go in, and it appears as though you are on uh, Captain Nemo's vessel. As you pop your head up, you no. seem to be in a chamber of some kind. Okay. The vessel itself is only about 25 feet wide and maybe 30 feet long. So, yeah, it's sizable. There are two doors, one to the left, one to the right. Just open both. At the same time? Cool. Okay. The one on the right leads to personal quarters. The one on the left appears to lead to the bridge, and there, wounded, is another Gethanki. Only this one carries a walking stick and is in mage-like clothes. Oh, Everybody no. roll initiative for the BBG. I was gonna say we should have gone into the personal quarters and dressed in their stuff. Uh, thirteen. Seventeen. Thirteen for me. Seventeen for Camille. Uh, twenty-two for Zadar. Twenty-one for Daphne. Very good. Uh, Zadar, uh, you spot. Uh, we'll call him Flame Weaver. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Uh, in deep speech, I, I hold up my hand and I'm just like, uh, it's just like, 
uh, you guys, I'm not saying you guys, you have p appeared to be injured. We want to help. Daphne? Uh, they're not going to understand me, right? At all? At all. I know Abyssal Common, Infernal, Undercommon. I don't think that helps. Nope. Um, deep speed she should understand because they the illithids I think. So I don't know. I I, I try to send suggestive <laughs> makes... you, you really need to finish that sentence. sentence. Like <laughs> I sent so, suggested kind of... text to him. What are you wearing? I'm wearing mesh panties. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, that's what it is. I send suggestive signals in a sexual manner. I try to. Okay. Uh, Daphne's Daphne's doing the little nipple rub. Zadar is saying something about, hey, let's be friends. And that brings us to Camille, number three in line. What do you want to do? You don't know what Zadar said. You aren't sure why Daphne is this. Uh, oh, I can't imagine this, guys. <laughs> all, all you know is this fucker looks like a mage and he's got a... Uh, walking stick mm. wink i could be your walking stick oh my god let me take care of your walking stick is the better line um i can polish that knob for you there oh sir oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm too gay i don't know these things i'm just kidding um so there's nothing i won't do for a buck yeah, just give me <laughs> such a look so there's a language barrier oh yeah i'm trying to bridge it but i don't know if it's gonna go well <laughs> i say namaste <laughs> uh, awesome he looks at all three of you takes his walking stick bam everybody uh give me a uh, con probably... save as electricity rips oh, through the Lord. room okay 15 save 15 save 14. save uh the electricity rips like, through you guys you suffer half uh, damage i think i want to wink <laughs> at him like <laughs> He, baby, he just lit your <laughs> fire. Uh, that's a shitty roll. Everybody take four hit points of damage. Woo no. <laughs> uh, Zid Zidar, your uh, peace offering. That's right. My peace offering glass. just got rebuked. Uh... Yes, a horrible okay. rebuke. But he will say, give me my item. Right after he electrocutes you. Um, <clears throat> Can we just close the door? We're not even in the room yet. Deep speech, I say if we talk first. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne, your turn. Uh, I'm going to... when, when he spoke, it wasn't in Undercommon. I mean... Undercoming. It wasn't in common, right? Okay. Correct. But I but he was was he speaking in deep speech? Okay. Yeah, same as you. You're the one that I'm just gonna to straight him. up attack him because I'm an asshole, I guess. Sure. Twenty one HP three to hit. Oh yeah, both hit. Now are you don't forget that sword is plus two. Plus two to To hit and damage. Hit and damage. Oh. So it's 2d6 plus 2 plus strength bonus. 2d6 plus 2 plus strength? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So, well, I guess the first one, 6 damage. And then the second one, 2d6. I got to roll it differently. 6 is... What'd you do? Roll 2 on your damage? What do you mean? Minus 2d4 so right now for the regular. 
I assume it's like one than no, the no. other, or is it like I can attack twice with that one? You can attack oh, twice. Oh, all right then. One. Sorry. So two d six. I have to reroll it all. Mm -hmm. <gasps> well, roll two d six. Add two. Add your strength bonus. Let's <clears throat> say all hit. Two uh, d six plus. You said strength. Uh -huh. 21, 23, 24 plus what else to damage, or that's it? That's it. So 24? Yeah, 24 damage. I, I roll my eyes. I go, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> uh, she's bringing a pain. Uh, Camille, uh, looks like talkie time is over. Okay. This is a weird vessel, too. Everything on here looks foreign. Wow, I meant to write too. Um, so there's okay. no more diplomacy. There's no diplomacy now. Not anymore. Damn it. Sorry. Um, and we're under the water? No, you are inside the ship. You're under the water, but you are in right. air. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's hurt, isn't he? He is hurt. Okay. Yeah, she did a number on him. I mean, he was hurt before she hit him. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh shit. Nice. <laughs> that okay. ain't gonna be good. Um, <laughs> uh, rave sickness. Am I saving or are you hitting me? I'm hitting you. Hoo hoo, 20. Hits. Uh. Note that this guy is not wearing metal armor. That's fine. It's rave sickness. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then I need to save? Uh, or are you just making me vomit? Damn it. I think I'm just making you vomit. Okay. Damage? Um, sorry, my eyes are finally giving out on me. Oh, well, that's disappointing um three ah, that is disappointing uh my turn three balls of flame come out of his hands not his butt not his butt he's not doing butt stuff yet come here <laughs> that 20 uh, 19 plus 4 on Zadar. Reaction shield. Uh, okay, 23. Does the shield what? beat it? Down. Uh, and 21 Dude. on Daphne. Damn it, he, oh, he rolled 23. Hmm? 23 on me? Damn it, he just hit me. All three of you get lit up. <laughs> 14 damage oh, each of you Seriously? each of you suffer 14 yeah he lit your ass up he looking though damage wise you're not looking so hot we're uh, nice people come on top of the order okay uh, top of the order is me you right you okay then Daphne then Camille then me again Okay. Uh, all right. At twenty four, he's... put the hurt on him. Yeah. Uh, at that point, uh, I'm gonna see if he can take a little nap. Give me a roll. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what it is. Sixty six, isn't it? Yeah. You want me to save uh, you time? 
Yeah, save me the time because it's only 17. Oh, yeah, not even close. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne, uh, you gone hog wild ape shit on him. Yeah, I'm going to attack him again. Sure. Oh, my God. Wow. Just What is it? 14 what to I- hit this guy. Neither one makes it then. I got 10 10. Camille! <laughs> Now, remember, that's a plus two. It would still be 12, so I still okay. want to hit. Camille, you're up. Nineteen. Yeah, that hits him. Uh, I'll do Ray of Sickness again. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> This time it's going to be butt stuff. Uh, Make sure he throws up and poops his pants. (laughs) Fair enough. Uh, He wraps his walking stick again. Everybody save. Really? Yep. Uh, Okay. Con. Con. Eat. Full. 15. Half. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, 11, but I'm going to try to uncanny dodge. <laughs> Wait, no. I can add my plus four <laughs> onto my rolls. No, I didn't cast it. Just kidding. I'm such an ass flash to cast plus. Way to go, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> so even I though watch? I saw it coming, there's no way I'm going to escape this wave, huh? You are on metal, and oh, the electricity is bitch. dancing through it. Son of a bitch. So... Can't read that one. Oh, okay. Ah, that's not bad. Uh, ten full, five for half. So Camille takes five. You two take ten. Electricity. Wow, my fucking Electricity. Back. Clarice. Electricity. Zadar. Uh, Things are looking morose for the group. Things are looking morose for me. Uh. Okay, I'm just going to have to try to outright kill this fucker. Yes, oh. please. All right, scimitar strike. Sure. AC 14. Um, that will be a nat 20. Nicely done. Okay. So uh, that's full damage plus... Uh, how does it go again? Damage, damage, and modifier. Okay. Okay, damage, damage, and modifier. Let's see. Uh, let's see. 2, 2, 6, 12, plus 17. Uh, plus 4. Uh, 21 damage, and then fire damage is going to come. Will the fire damage be full strength, too? Okay, so I'll have to roll a D8 for that. Okay, uh, the damage is just going to be two fire damage. Daphne! Okay. Twelve doesn't hit, but a seventeen does. Yep. All right. And... Twelve damage. You guys are peppering his ass. Uh, Camille, if you tr- if you try and melee attack, it's got to be a disadvantage because Zadar and Daphne are in front of you. Spells, no, no penalty. Mm. You should just fog cloud the shit out of this ship. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, trust me, I've thought about it. Yeah, she's thought about it. <laughs> you're, you're just lucky you're fighting this thing on the ship. Yeah. Because it has two fourth level spells, Wall of Fire. Oh, my. And it has a uh, third level spell, Fireball. It, it does a lot of fire, but it can't burn its ship down. Right. But we're in it. <laughs> True strike. Okay. Okay, that fell on the ground. Um... I'm going to have to find a lot of dice tomorrow. 
Oh, you don't do any damage with True Strike, though. Oh, I don't. Uh -uh. No. It just tells you what its uh, weaknesses oh. are. 20. Yeah. Uh, it's not resistant to a whole lot of anything. Uh, and it is a mage, and it has a lot of spells. That's what you know. Uh, oh, crap. Turn. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to spend some sorcery points this round, too. Oh. Uh, everybody make a con save. Tap! Fuck. Uh, I'm literally going to fucking die. Reaction. Shield. This is my last one. <laughs> it's electric coming through the feet. <laughs> I mean, shield wouldn't, wouldn't protect me from it. Uh-uh. Oh, damn. Okay. Then I didn't use shield. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, con save. Con save. Daphne? Oh, okay. 20, <laughs> 21. If it's more than six, I'm, I'm out. I'll put it that way. 21. Uh, 11. Uh, full, full, half. Dead. Out. Unconscious. Roll a five. It's so sad we went out this way. Sadly, you are not dead because I rolled a three ones and a four. Seven damage. You are unconscious, Daphne. Uh, Daphne drops seven to Camille and three to Zadar. Okay. Zadar, your ally has fallen and the Flame Weaver is still up. What do you oh, want to do? God, oh, this is a, this is uh, a catch twenty two situation. So, uh, <laughs> okay, is what my body says. <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> You get okay. to roll a death save here in a minute. <laughs> uh, will, will drinking a potion be a bonus action or an action? Uh, I think we do it as an action. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, like Bon Jovi said, I'm going to die in a blaze of glory. Fair enough. You guys uh, have done a significant amount of damage to this thing, too. Okay. Be ashamed to die now. Yeah, I know. Uh, Unfortunately, the one doing all the damage is down. <laughs> right. Uh, Unless you want to throw a potion on me, but... That's going to take my action. This guy's going to attack me right after. So, Okay, I'm going to scimitar attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, 27 to hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, with that, that is uh, seven points slashing. Uh, let's see. Fire. Fire will be uh, another seven and then sneak attack because he's engaged. With you. <laughs> oh. I mean, he's not. Uh, well, okay. Anyway. He, has, he has not chosen melee for any of it. Well, that was it then. <laughs> Daphne, death save. He's rolling a d20, right? That's what it yep, is. d20, you want 10 or better. That's yeah. one down. <laughs> but the good thing, Daphne, if he electrocutes us again. He can't, you can't die and get any deader. So. Uh, if, if he electrocutes you, you're going to die. Oh, uh, I mean, she can still be affected even if she's down. Oh, on, yeah. On death save? That, that's shit. a critical hit, man. Oh, She'll shit. fucking, she will fucking die outright. Camille, kill this He's thing. Playing. Wait, why did I never use Hellish Rebuke on him like a fucking asshole this whole time? Because you're Snapchatting. That's <laughs> right. So how close is he to dying? <laughs> He, he doesn't look so hot. But do I, I need don't... to save Daphne? You can pour a potion down her throat if you want. Yeah. I'll the other potion. You want the potion or the extra healing the potion? The extra healing potion. Uh, you want to roll it or do you want Daphne to roll it? Let Daphne roll it. 2d8 oh. plus 4, no ones. 2d8 plus 4. Plus 
plus what? Plus four? Yep. Sixteen? That's what my healing is? Yep. Alright, nice. Thank You'll you. be able to attack next round, but this round, not so much. Uh, what should I use on you fuckers? Oh, God, God. Let's let the dice decide. Okay, fair enough. Um, who am I going to attack? Camille. I throw a dagger at you. I hope. Uh, 14 plus 4, 18. Yes. Ooh. There's a lot of damage here. <laughs> so the blade itself. <laughs> shit roll there. Uh, and then fire damage. That's better. Uh, you take 11 hit points of damage. Are you down? Not yet. Okay. Top of the order. Uh, her, her bless wouldn't still be up, would it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. I should have casted it in the beginning, but I didn't. Fuck. Who let me be a paladin? Oh, You're tiefling. Like <laughs> Your hellish rebuke <laughs> might have put him down by now. Zadar, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I should take a potion, but I mean, if this guy is on, on his deathbed. Don't take a potion. Save yourself. He, he's going to fuck us up. Uh, Daphne's up, so she'll be able to attack. Okay, since she's up, then I'm going to go ahead as an action, take my potion. Yep. And that's, what, 2d4? If it's, if it's extra healing, it's 2d8 plus 4. Uh, if it's regular, good. it's 1d8 plus 2, two and two. you don't roll ones unless you roll ones three times in a row. Okay. Who? Okay. All right. I'm still standing. <laughs> Daphne, can you finish him off, or is he going to finish you guys off? Kill him. Do parlay. That'll work. Go diplomacy. At least hits and it is. Oh man, it's the worst. Six damage. Is he dead or alive? He's he is alive. I threatened him to hit me. Hit me. Do it. See what happens. Meal, you're up. Twelve. Does not get him. Uh, <laughs> con saves. We're gonna die. Oh god. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Pass half damage. Oh okay. Wait, who's half damage? Everybody has to roll the con save. No, just oh. you. You're the only one that's rolled. Oh, okay. Got to roll your con save. Nine. Full. Camille. Mm. Which one will work? Fifteen. Half. Two, two, one, three, uh, eight damage full, four half I damage. cash hellish, re hellish rebuke this time. There you go. So he has to make a dex 13 save. A one. <laughs> Alrighty. You take. He will, he will take full damage. damage. He disappears in a pile of ash as his carcass glitters as embers. I was like, this bitch isn't dying. What a fucking 
<laughs> that is more Wait, than does enough. Does staff to kill exist? Him. Camille, yeah, take staff the staff. Staff exists because it is Camille, magical. Camille, take the staff. Please. Camille, it is a walking stick to him. It is a staff. Yeah, I'm going to throw you. it at you. <laughs> okay. I will let her have the staff. There is also <laughs> a. There, well, oh. she's got the magic item already, so uh, there's a plus two daggers okay. that are, and there is a ring on the individual's I want the ring, finger. I'm a basic bitch. Okay. <laughs> do you yeah. want to put it on? Okay. What's it do? You don't feel any different. There's also seven hundred dollar or seven hundred gold pieces worth of gems on his body. However, the vessel is clearly worth more than that if it's salvaged. Oh yeah. Salvage it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna. Yeah. You know what? Who? Which one of you, Camille Zara, who wants to carry it? Because not me. I don't trust me. Carry what? The ship? No, the we ship? can't carry the ship. Can't carry the ship. This is a you'll, spaceship. You'll have to do salvage. <laughs> There's no one yeah. else in here. This is like ghost no. ship. Judging from the size of the craft, there are only it's a two person craft. Oh, Maybe a scout ship of. Something. Am I getting okay? Just to to role play a little bit. Am I getting any flashbacks like from being as a child? I mean, I was brought here from somewhere else. Am I remembering anything? <laughs> this is not a slave okay. ship. All right. Oh my god, Hannah just laughs about it. She's such a terrible person. What, what does she laugh about? <laughs> and she laughs. Ship. Oh. That makes me like her even more. She, she's <laughs> she's cold-hearted, says the woman who used uh, a human, frail woman as a battering weapon. Right. Nice. Uh, folks, you have barely fucking survived <laughs> as you step outside daphne the water has no effect on you you can breathe normally oh i'm like a fucking lizard now it, it's a water a ring of water breathing uh zadar and camille you can go back up to the rowboat a large crowd has gathered on the dock because everybody said hey the heroes went inside the water do you want to carry out the dead gith or just the head or just leave him down there? Uh, do you want to leave the door open or do you want to shut it? Uh, I will I will take his head. <laughs> I was going to say, we need to make a statement. I will take his head. <laughs> slice that sucker and carterize it right <laughs> off. And um, with, with that flame dagger. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, no key to the door? I've, I've got the key. And all right. Well, we're all... I'm sorry? Lock it. Lock it up. Sure. It's a bad neighborhood, Zadar. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want somebody stealing the stereo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you arrive back on the dock, uh, like I said, there's a large crowd there, including a few diplomats who are intrigued uh, Word has spread through Cacophony quickly that the Gethanki have attacked. However, you guys bringing in the head just jacked up not only your status, but your level. You guys are yeah. sixth level now. Uh, That's exciting. Among the crowd, a familiar gnome steps forward. What'd you find under there? Asks Aerosmith. <laughs> Aerosmith. Okay, I, I tell him we need to we yeah, we need to we have need a good talk. So before we I, I hold up the head. <laughs> Does oh, he recognize the the creature? Only through stories, and the head scares the shit out of everybody. Because <laughs> awesome. you know you're in an urban area and you're holding up a severed head. So hey, I'm trying to make a statement. Or is this the guy? I'm like, this guy? You he's taller. <laughs> That's him. Yeah, that, what? Get the like seven he's feet tall. The, they're gonna make out with the head to make it real weird. Like, right. 
With yeah, I'll hold it up to Daphne. Out. I'll hold it up to Daphne. Go ahead. You do the honors. Sure, I'll do one. I'll hold blood on me and be like, <laughs> You're always wiping blood on. But you. I cauterized it, so it's fine. Yeah, there's no blood. Just drool. Oh. Somebody's drooling on your breasts again. Good job. That's fine. Uh, That's you're fine. gonna be six level heroes, and you guys have just impressed the living shit out of the diplomatic core, uh, which will lead you to. A couple of options uh, okay. when we go next time. Uh, we ran a little bit long. Ha ha. Yes, Sorry. Kyle, you can laugh at me. Uh, big fight, not an easy fight. Uh, oh, no. Had you faced this guy in regular combat, he would have burnt the shit out of you, but he did not want to burn his ship. Uh, okay. So let's do final thoughts. Daphne. Besides you guys picking on me for being on social media. Uh, you're supposed to be paying attention unless to Unless you're social media, unless you're breaking down what's going on in the game on social that's media. That's right. That's the only time it's okay. That's <laughs> right. Even when I played in person, like, I would be on stuff. Because there's just moments where I'm like, it's ADHD. I just need to do something. I don't know. Is Hannah your still there? Friend to spank you. Hannah beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Every time she deviates, I wish I could Hannah. I it on her face, but I don't even think you can see it. Like, she's way over there. Spank her. <laughs> she's like. <laughs> Tell Hannah to take your phone. Uh, David, final thoughts. I loved it. It's awesome. We got a space. Uh, a uh, spell jammer. I wanted to say space jammer. <laughs> oh, it, it's it's broken. It's broken, but still, it's, it's worth a lot. It's broken back. <laughs> it is worth a lot. Uh, I honestly thought one of you would die. Uh, Camille, final I thoughts. Died. If Thanks. Camille excuse me, I would have died. And I was like, well, I guess I get to roll up a new character. Well, I had no idea it was going to be like this, so I'm glad we all lived. Uh, Camille saved you. David was selfish and wanted to hit yeah. the <laughs> Way to go, Dick. <laughs> he would have killed well, us all. This. You want healing? <laughs> Talk to the hand. Folks, uh, no, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it as much as these guys did. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, clearly, Cacophony is going to take a weird turn next uh, as these three are going to have some options thrown at them. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, link's down there. If you want to shoot the shit on our Discord channel, hit us up there. Most importantly, if you want to be in a one-shot or the talk show, one-shot Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on the show. Uh, next show up is Saturday, and it is a one-shot uh folks thanks for joining us everybody wait oh uh oddfishgames.com don't forget the uh, how to rpg with a cat and of course pirate dog dice for custom dice uh everybody wave and the producer slash camille will wait. take us out and if you don't want to die you should probably do some support here because apparently i'm a crazy person so you know you had the potions all you had to do was drink them just nope, it's just me. Me complaining before a game even started. Wow. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye. You're muted. And transition. And you're done. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, they can.